What's up guys, this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the first tutorial of Atmega 16 microcontroller series. In the very first video tutorial of this microcontroller series, I will first discuss the available 8-bit microcontrollers from Atmel and uh, then we will discuss the features of Atmega 16 microcontroller. So guys, the Atmel is one of the microcontroller manufacturer for 8-bit and 32-bit microcontrollers. In the category of 8-bit microcontrollers, the AVR series is very popular and there are mainly three categories under the AVR microcontrollers. The first series is 80 Tiny, then 80 Mega, then 80 X Mega. The first category under AVR microcontroller is of 80 Tiny microcontrollers. These microcontrollers are available with 0.5K to 16 kilobytes of flash memory with minimum of 6 and maximum of 32 input output pins and maximum clock frequency for 80 tiny is 20 megahertz the next category under 8 bit avr microcontrollers is 80 mega and these microcontrollers are available with 4 to 256 kilobytes of flash memory with minimum of 28 to maximum 100 pins and the clock frequency of maximum 20 megahertz the other most popular series under the 8 bit avr microcontroller is 80 x mega with minimum of 8 and maximum of 384 kilobytes of flash memory with minimum of 32 to maximum 100 pins for input outputs and maximum clock frequency rated at 32 megahertz for this video tutorial series i will go with the at mega series and i will use at mega 16 microcontroller for my video tutorials so let's see what we have in at mega 16 so these are some of the features for Atmega 16 series of microcontroller. The microcontroller is based on RISC architecture which is reduced instruction set computer. The microcontroller has on chip 16 kilobyte of in system self programmable flash memory. So from Atmega 16, this 16 is related to the available flash memory of the microcontroller which is 16 kilobytes. The 1 kilobytes of static RAM, 512 bytes of EEPROM, 32 pins for input outputs and arranged in 4 ports, 2 8-bit timers and 1 16-bit timer, 10-bit internal ADC, USART for serial communication, maximum 16 MHz clock and this is very important the operating supply for the microcontroller. So it is minimum 2.7 and maximum 5.5 volt for at mega 16. You must download the datasheet of Atmega 16. From the datasheet you will get all the features of Atmega 16 and it will also help us to configure the peripherals for Atmega 16. We have many options to choose the compiler for an AVR microcontroller. These three compilers are very common to write the programs for AVR microcontrollers. First one is the AVR Studio which is available free of cost. Second one is the Win AVR, which is also free of cost. And third one is the Micro C Pro for AVR, which is a paid version of the compiler. If you want to download the Atmel AVR Studio, then you have to go to the atmel.com and uh, under the download section, you can download the Atmel Studio for AVR. If you want to download the Win AVR for AVR microcontrollers, then you have to go to sourceforge.net and you can download the Win AVR latest version from this website. Or the third option is the compiler from Microelectronica, which is Micro C Pro for AVR. You can download the compiler by selecting this AVR option, and this is the latest version available on the website. You can use the demo version of this micro C compiler for few of the programs or you can download the universal patch for this compiler. This video tutorial series will be based on micro C Pro for AVR although it is a paid version but it is available in demo version and also a universal crack is available. As a beginner it is very easy to understand the programming through the micro C compiler. So that's why I will go for this micro C compiler. After creating the program for AVR microcontroller, we have to download the hex file to the microcontroller. For that purpose, I will use this USB ASP programmer for AVR. It is very cheap programmer and available online. And most of the video tutorials will be based on simulation. So for simulation purpose, the software is Proteus ISIS and uh, I am using version 7.10 of this software. 
So in next video tutorial I will discuss how to install the micro C compiler for AVR then then the Proteus ISIS for our purpose. So stay in touch guys and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel.